Hello everybody, welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie, and as you know from last week's videos, this week is all about Pixie Pretties, and today specifically is about Chloe Morello's Pixie Collaboration. So if you want to know what product she did and what I think of them, just keep watching. As always here on Southeast by Midwest, before we jump into talking about the products, my thoughts, all that jazz, we um, do disclosure and the disclosure for this video and corresponding blog post is that these products were sent to me by Pixie to facilitate a review. However, all opinions as always in all of my videos are my own. I will tell you my honest thoughts on it even if it means I'll never get another PR product as long as my channel exists. So let's jump into talking about these products. So the three Pixie pretties that were chosen this year were Chloe Morello, Wiley, and Dulce Candy. Now out of those three I've never heard of Wiley in all honesty. I've heard of Chloe Morello but never followed her and I have actually followed Dulce Candy for several years. More about Dulce's and Wiley's collaborations. Today it is about Chloe Morello and Chloe I believe is an Australian YouTuber and her collaboration consisted of two products that could be purchased separately. Now that will be important in other uh, parts of the collaboration, but for hers they were two products purchased separately. Now the first one we're going to talk about is the new lip icing and this is in the shade Cake. And I have all of the ingredient information, links and everything like that in the blog post down below. Now this lip icing, as you can see, it has Pixie's clear packaging with their signature green lid. On the front it says Pixie Plus Chloe Morello, kind of right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I will have pictures on the blog post. And at the bottom it has that it is cake. Now when you open it, it has your typical doe foot applicator and this is really basically just a clearish gloss with a lot of gold glitter to it. This can be worn, I don't know if you're even going to be able to see that or not, this can be worn by itself to kind of give the lips more dimension or it can be worn as a topper. I have tried it both ways and in all honesty I really really love this. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the MAC lip glasses. So if you're looking for a cruelty free alternative to the MAC lip glasses, then I would for sure give this a try. This is something that I would repurchase. Now the next part of her collaboration is the Palette Cloette. It comes with, actually let me take it out of the box first. And this is called Romantic Radiance. Now for this one it has, again, the signature packaging of Pixie. We have the clear lid, we have the that same green backing. This has the shade names on the back and then when you open it, it opens sideways whereas like um, the Judy palette last year opened bottom to top I believe. But this opens sideways almost like a book and then it can kind of be held like this and we have three kind of blush face powders. We have six or three duos of eyeshadows and then this trio that is supposed to be brow powders or liners and then we have this little bitty mirror. That mirror, The mirror is so freaking tiny that you can't really use it for anything and in all honesty I wish they had just kind of hollowed that part out and even if they did not put a brush in there, a place to put a brush would have been far better. Alright, so let's talk about the three face shades. So the bottom one is Romance, so this is Romance, Bouquet, and Promise. And I'm going to swatch all three, although I don't know if you can see them or not. Again, I'm going to try to have photos of the swatches on the blog post or Instagram. Here are the three shades. As you can see, Romance is a very pigmented blush. Bouquet is a lighter pink blush. Romance is this gold shade that could probably be used as a highlighter. Promise has a little bit of a shimmer to it, where the other two have a little bit of satin to it. I have to say for the three face products, 
I actually really, really like those. All right, we're gonna move now to these three duos. I'm gonna swatch them and come right back. All right, so the duos are over here. The first one is here and here. The second set is here and here. And then the third set is here and here. Some of these you can barely see on me. And in all honesty, they are all shimmers. They are all kind of just varying shades of neutral colors. And I really wish they had done something a little different. I find that with this, especially because I have hooded eyes and my um, eyelids do have some wrinkles on there, using this as a by itself eyeshadow palette just does not work with no matte shades in it at all except for these and these are just a little too dark to go in at first for me to like set the eyelid or something like that I'd have to bring something else in so in all honesty the eyeshadows were not my favorite part of this palette all right we're gonna now move to this little trio of the brow slash liners I'm gonna swatch those and be right back on my wrist here we have the three this is the light brown the medium brown and then the black I'm bad at doing the wrist swatches so anyway my opinions on these are that they are patchy um, they kind of fade off fairly quickly especially if you do not set it with like a brow gel or you do not go in and set the actual liner um, the black is the best it, it takes the longest to fade and to run away but in all honesty for the like the lighter brown shade if you're using that because you have like lighter brown hair or blonde hair and that's the lightest shade it's not going to stay put at all and I would not even suggest using it as an eyeshadow because the quality of it compared to the shimmer shadows is a lot different so let's talk my uh, final thoughts my review on these two products for the lip icing love it want them to expand to more I don't care if they expand to more as collaborations with other youtubers if they bring out more separately love love loved the lip icing it makes your lips look good by itself it makes other lip products look good too you know it it works as both a topper and a by itself product this I would not repurchase if somebody else gave me the money to repurchase it the face products were good and I really wish they would have been done separately as well as kind of like how they did Aspen's last year was that she got like the separate highlighting powders if they had done these three separately loved it would highly have recommended if this had been like a trio and then like the eyeshadows and stuff had been a separate palette I would recommend it but the mirror here is ridiculously small it does nothing for you these are all shimmers and I have talked about all shimmer palettes in the past they're not my favorite thing especially for people who have like hooded eyes um, or have like wrinkles or stuff on their eyes you really are gonna need some matte shades which means you're gonna have to bring in another palette for this and these as brow products and as liners are not the best so I would not purchase this I do not recommend this unless you want these three blushes and you're willing to pay the price or you do don't have a problem bringing in a separate palette for shimmers so my recommendation is the lip icing go purchase it at Target if you can't find it at Target I have links down below that you can purchase it online through Target's website or through Pixie Target does have Ebates which I have a link down in the description box if you want to sign up for Ebates um, and Pixie does have a like a rewards program like I said the blushes are amazing though Hopefully you found this video fun and informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really does help. Make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know which of these products you would try or you can let me know how you feel about Just Shimmer eyeshadows palettes. Do you like them? Do you wish that there was at least one or two matte shades in there? Make sure to follow me on the social media link down below so you don't miss anything. And until next time.